Welcome to the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel powered by InsideTexas.com. I'm Joe Cook. Got Charlie Williams here with me. We were both on the ground, me on the 40 acres, Charlie at OT7 finals, talking to some of the top Texas targets in multiple classes. And uh, Charlie, one of the top targets that you saw was someone committed to LSU uh, in Decorey and Moore. And when you watched him play, you were like, oh, yeah, that, I can see why that guy is ranked the way he is. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Decor is out there making spectacular catches, uh, living up to the hype, if it, so to speak, right? And and uh, they have to double team Decor in a lot. Just seeing him out there do his thing and be competitive, you know, guys coming at him, he showed why he's the top receiver in the nation. You know, inside Texas, Eric Nolene has a uh, eventual flip pick in for more to to go to Texas. Everybody knows about his speed, but what other things did you see on display uh, from Moore? Just how competitive he is, right? You know, you got guys barking at you, trying to come at you because you're rated so high. And uh, him just taking on the challenge of, you know, those guys don't have to go out there and do that, right? They already made a name for themselves. They're ranked really high, you know, but for him to go out there and put it on display, you know, in front of everybody, you know, against some of the best guys going at him, it just shows who he is as a player and as a person. Uh, inside Texas does expect more to to be on campus this weekend for the Longhorn spring game. Someone who is also at OT seven uh, and but is going to make an uh, an eventual return. Uh, who's on campus last weekend on April sixth and will make an official visit return during the summer is Jamie French, a five star from uh, the Jacksonville area. Uh, you were able to to catch up with him. Let's see what uh, Jamie told you about his recruitment with the Longhorns. Mr. French, man, so how do you think you did overall this weekend? Man, I think I did all right. You know, a little bit more room for improvement, you know, but that's why we come out here, you know, work the craft over the offseason, you know, for so far, come around, you'll be all right. That's what's up. What's your relationship like with Chris Jackson or anybody, all the coaches at Texas? Man, you know, real strong ball with Chris Jackson and, you know, Coach Sark, man. All them guys, they always tap in with me, give me a little piece in there and everything. Just right. let me know they need me, that's all. Yeah, you plan on coming back to going back to Austin to visit? Oh yeah, definitely. No doubt. I'll be back in Austin June twenty second for my OB. So yeah, I've never looked forward to it. I know you got to visit, uh, watch practice. How was it? Like, what was your, what the vibe? What's the vibe you picked up? Like, just being there, seeing the man, vibe. Uh, the intensity level for sure on the defense, man, and definitely with the receiver room. You know, they got a lot of guys that can get after. You know, what I'm saying. A couple of transfers, Isaiah Bond, you know, from Bama, which I was recently committed, you know, uh, Isaiah, not Isaiah, but Golden from uh, Houston. Yeah. A lot of room in the uh, receiver room for sure, man. All right, bet that, man. Jamie French does his homework. He knows uh, all those guys, and uh, you got to see him play a little bit as well. Um, you got also were able to talk to Marcus Harris, a, a, a wide receiver out of modern day in, in California. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about French and Harris and their connection, but uh, let's go ahead and, and see what Harris told you about his relationship with the Longhorns. Hi, uh, Harris. Mr. Marcus, man, uh, how you think you did overall this entire weekend here? Uh, you know, I feel like I did good. You know, um, you know, I'm really just focused on the season. You know, I'm a tackle type guy. You know, so I'm just waiting for that for sure. All right, man. What's your relationship with, like with Coach uh, Chris Jackson and everybody else in Texas? Man, man, that's my guy. You know, uh, ever since he got there, you know, we've been communicating every day, and uh, you know, he, he went to modern day, so you know, we got a lot of mutuals and things like that. So you know, uh, that's my guy for sure. All right. What's the vibe you get when you go to Texas, like from player perspective, coach perspective, or just being in Austin? Uh, the hospitality. I mean, every time with the coaches is always good. You know. Every coach I'm really cool with, defense side, offense side, you know, everywhere, you know. Every time I go up there, I'm always talking to people, and, you know, it's always good vibes when I go up there. It's always fun, for sure. Right. What did you think about the practice when you got to visit? Uh, the practice was good, you know. Uh, you know, I, I went to the game last year, I played Wyoming, and I wasn't able to see how my coaches coach, but, you know, I was able to see how Coach Jackson coaches, how Coach Bellamy, he was with the quarterbacks, how Coach Stark was, he was with the receivers. I didn't really think he was going to be a receiver, but he was with the receivers, on the receivers, so, you know, that's good to see that's your head coach, you know, with the receivers. So, you know, it was good just all right, man. One last question: uh, You going back? Are you going to spring game, or you got another visit set up? Uh, I actually have my OB set up June twenty first. So yes, sir. I bet. So you heard that he's got his official visit set up on June twenty first. Uh, same with with Mark oh, with uh, Jamie French, and um, you were able to catch up with both those guys, obviously. But it sounds like you know from being on two different sides of the country, they've got a little bit of a relationship going, and they like what uh, what they've seen from Texas based off your conversations with them. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you see, they both have a great relationship with Coach Chris Jackson. Uh, they like the offense. They like Coach Sark. You know, you, you see Marcus mentioned Coach Sark working with the receivers. Like, he didn't expect that. So you can see that the head coach is dialed in. But seeing those guys play together on the field, understand spacing where each other is, 
Uh, you just saw the bond and relationship that they built playing on the same seven on seven team. And I will tell you this, if, you know, if it was a game, it probably would have been about 10 to 15 holding penalties against the defense trying to guard those guys, man. Um, they did really, really well uh, this, you know, this past weekend at OT7. And I, like I said, I see why Texas is high on their list. I see why, you know, every other school in the country is after those guys. We'll stay on offense, but we'll move to a different position. And this is a player that both I saw and you saw, I believe, this past weekend, and that's Keati Armstrong, uh, a, a tight end from Jasper. Our Justin Wells made his way over to Jasper recently to talk to him. Keati was on campus this past weekend uh, with the Longhorns, and I was able to ba- catch up with him quickly after his visit. You know, at this point, he likes what he sees from Jeff Banks. He said that the way Texas uses their tight ends uh, is similar to how Jasper uses their tight ends. They want to move them all over the field, sometimes have them in line. Uh, And he understands that, you know, this is going to be a class that includes multiple tight ends. One of those other tight ends is Amari Winston. Uh, He's from Calhoun, Georgia, committed to the Longhorns in the 2025 class. Uh, And he's someone you were able to catch up a little bit with up there at OT7 this past weekend. Yeah, definitely. I actually had a chance to talk to both, both of those guys and just seeing Keati move like in space. That's like seeing the guy, like seeing his film, but seeing him in person, seeing that big kid move is like, it's very, very impressive to see what he can do. And then and with Amari, uh, same thing. I called him baby Antonio Gates when I saw him. He laughed, but that, he has that same build and he moves just like him. He's able to make those uh, acrobatic catches go up for the ball. He's just very smooth in his route. So, uh, yeah, I can definitely um, – see why like those guys are being recruited high. And then, you know, Amari mentioned that he has a great relationship relationship with Coach Choice, who's also a Georgia boy, uh, as he said. And so I thought that was great. I know you caught up with Amari on, on video as well. We're going to go to that right now. With Amari, man, from Georgia, what's good, man? So I know y'all, in, y'all almost made it to the championship, man, or made it to the finals, man. So, but how do you think you did overall this whole weekend? I think I did good. Uh, got off the ball good. Yeah, yeah, I saw you catch on the sideline, man. That's the first time I've been able to see you in person. See you can move, man. So everybody probably think you're inline blocking, but I see you out there like Antonio Gates, bro. I, you know, I, I, somebody told me that, but I mean, I'm trying to be the best version of, of you? me I can be. All right, that's so, what's I'm up. Trying to get bands, I can run routes, block, everything I need for the next level. I see y'all gaining some commitment more in Texas. Are you working on anybody in particular trying to get them to come to Texas with you? Um, I mean, a little bit, but not really, because, you know, I mean, being Texas is gonna do its it's gonna do its own thing. You don't have to really see where you, they want to be. Bro. What's your relationship with like Coach Sark, Coach Banks, or any other coaches? Um, it's coach is good. Uh, I mean, Coach Banks, we talked a lot. We got a good connection. I mean, it's like we talk and we like connect just like that. Uh, coach Choice, that's my guy. I mean, we're from the same Georgia. Okay. Uh, that's what's up. Uh, are you going to spring game? Yeah, so I'm leaving Thursday. To go Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. Then I'll be back June 21st for uh, OB. All right, back, move, man. Lots of stuff going on at that yeah. seven-on-seven tournament, but the the nuts and bolts there. Amari Winston uh, coming back for uh, his uh, official visit on June 21st and uh, should be there for the spring game. So uh, one of the players who uh, is done taking visits uh, at this juncture, 2026 quarterback Will Griffin. He was on campus for the Longhorns this past weekend. And uh, Texas has, I think, a handful of offers out in the 2026 class for quarterbacks. Uh, Bryce Underwood, who ended up committing to LSU. Dia Bell from Florida and Troy Hoon from California. Will Griffin wanted to add his name to that list. And A.J. Milwee has continued to recruit him and evaluate him. Still plans to uh, go and see him out in Tampa uh, this upcoming uh, spring during the evaluation period. But no offer uh, for Will Griffin, and um, he, he said all the right things. A lot of credit to him, but you could tell he was a little bummed. Could, didn't exactly like the that you know th- that he still doesn't have an offer. It's one he obviously covets, but uh, at this point, Charlie, we've seen that the, uh, the the Longhorns are very very judicious when it comes to quarterback offers because they don't want to mess around and put themselves in a situation where they have multiple guys of which there very well would be trying to bat- bang down the door for that one spot. Yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Sark and Coach Miller are going to do their homework and, and make sure they, they offer the right guys that they really, really uh, want. And after, I mean, like I said, that's the guy that runs the entire offense and the leader of the team. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you offer a guy, there's somebody you want. And like I said, Will, no discredit to Will Griffin. That kid can play. He can throw the ball. You can tell he's a great young man. Just the way he upholds himself, the way he conversates. 
um, that he could be that guy. But I think they're keeping him in the loop, so we'll see down the road what happens. We'll keep it going quickly for some of these other ones. Jackson Christian, an interior offensive lineman from Port Neches Groves, championship program down there in the Golden Triangle. Not only did he visit Texas, not only did he stay the night in Austin on Saturday night, uh, but he's going to be back on the 40 acres on Tuesday to soak in another practice, see how things operate. Obviously, that's a great fact pattern there. Uh, if you're watching things like that, visits and visits back to back, especially for practices, uh, that that seems like a good sign for the Longhorns as they're battling the Aggies and even the Red Raiders there. Another uh, offensive lineman uh, in town was U.S. Trinity Toa Katoa. Um, obviously a Polynesian guy was there with a couple members of his family, um, recently offered, uh, by Kyle flood, Kyle flood and, and his staff, uh, the, the number of O-line staffers, uh, were there to show love to Katoa out the gate. Um, he's a large human, probably about six, three, probably about three sixty. uh, someone that kind of fits the mold of a, of a Kyle flood O-lineman and, uh, someone on the, uh, interior and someone I was there to talk to, but that you uh, got some more tidbits about on his visit was 2026 offensive tackle Felix Ojo. Uh, when you look at him, it's what you think of junior offensive tackle who's got a lot of potential looks like. But uh, I heard it was a good visit. I bet you did the same as well. Yeah, definitely said he enjoyed it. He enjoyed seeing practice. He knows guys just fly around and, and communicate. For him, it was like he, that's what he wanted to see, right? He wanted to see those guys live in action, how Coach Flood coaches, how the players react. You know, they do they take these teachers to the field and just see the development of the offensive line and seeing guys that he knows because he's from the Dallas area. Uh, you know, seeing the DJ Cam with the Cam Williams of the world and, and seeing those guys out there perform and practice hard. And he was really excited about what he saw. One other guy that you saw um, and then you got to catch up with as we kind of shift into some defense now, uh, was Matai Tagawai. He's a linebacker from California, part of a string of commitments for USC, but sounds like there's still some opportunity for the Longhorns there. Yeah, I know he has a, a visit set up, but seeing him this weekend, seeing him move around, that he's a big, long kid, you know, at 6'4". They had him playing deep safety. Then he was in the box kind of playing linebacker, seeing him running with, you know, receivers like uh, trying to cover a Jamie French. And he, he wasn't afraid to get out there. And I saw how athletic he was and how he could move. And so he had a great weekend, uh, got his hands on a lot of balls and uh, breaking up passes and getting in passing lanes. So I see why he's very highly coveted. Uh, but he's a long kid who can really move. Last kid we'll talk about, uh, one to store away, is 2026 safety Blaine Bradford from Baton Rouge Catholic, someone that was a little bit surprised to see on the 40 acres, but this is a very, a, just a, a high-quality safety prospect. I think he's number 10 in on three's 2026 rankings, top 15 across the board of everybody. Uh, and an, an important thing was he made the trip with his dad, uh, showed up last time, uh, for the Texas Junior Day, just him, I believe. This time he makes a trip with his dad and comes to see how Blake Gideon and uh, the defensive staff work. So that's a, a, a no, another notable data point, another visit uh, from a top 10 prospect on his own dime to come see Texas and to make sure his family saw it as well. So uh, a lot of 2026, some notable 2025 info, but uh, it was a big Texas Longhorns recruiting weekend, just like this weekend will be uh, for the spring game. So make sure you head to Inside Texas. You can use the promo code IT1 to get two months of InsideTexas.com access for just $1. Thank you for watching this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time on the Inside Texas Football YouTube channel powered by InsideTexas.com.